welcome to the ALE. This is a first show and a series that I'm going to be doing. Um, basically, it's the ALE, which is the Automotive Learning Experience. And in these videos, what I'll be doing is showing you um, how a system works, as opposed to, to how to fix uh, your problem. And the idea behind this is if you know how it works, then you will know how to fix it. So that's what I'm going to be doing in these videos. I'll use them to, um, I'll annotate, link them to other videos um, of me showing you how to fix a problem. So if you're not getting it, you don't understand, then you can just click on that video. It'll bring you to one of these videos and we'll show you how it works. And then hopefully you'll more easily be able to fix your problem. Well, that's the concept behind the new show, so um, let's actually jump into it. Um, the first uh, ALE I'm going to be doing is going to be on heating, uh, your vehicle's heating system. So that's what we're looking at right now, your vehicle's heating system. This is a not so good drawing right here, but I'm going to try and use this to explain um, how it works. Well, when you flip on the hot switch to get the hot air blowing out when you're sitting in your passenger compartment, um, what is actually happening is outside air is blowing through a series here, through this piece right here, which is your heater core, and it's leaving your heater core and blowing inside the passenger compartment area. Now before it gets from here to in there with you, it's going to pass a cabin filter. Um, it's going to be pulled in and blown out by your blower motor. And it's also going to pass over your evaporator, um, which is your AC radiator type looking piece right here. Um, and then it'll come past that and uh, go through the heater core and go into your car. So we've got one, two, and I guess three parts that's uh, involved pretty much. Oh, and another one real quick, this little uh, black piece I've drawn here is a heater a heater control valve, there we go. And um, what that, what that is going to do is there's going to be coolant flowing in and out of this heater core. And on some cars it will have this heater control valve. Not all cars do. But what that will do is cut off the flow um, of coolant going through the heater core um, so it'll prevent hot air uh, going into the cabin area um, when it's undesired. So let's ask ourselves a question. How would the cool air out here enter into our series and exit um, not in the form of hot air? Well the first component our cool air is going to um, meet with is this cabin filter. Now if the cabin filter is clogged um, or blocked in any way, shape, or form, then it's not going to allow air to be pulled, or maybe if it's on the other side, it's not going to allow air to pass. So there's going to be low airflow um, on this side of the equation. Next thing um, we're going to look at is the blower. Now, if the blower is not doing its job, um, there could be a few reasons. Um, it could have a voltage drop somewhere. Um, the motor could just be old and uh, beginning to be faulty. Um, but if it's not working properly, again, you will have low air flow coming out um, on this side. Next thing, we're coming to the little plastic box here, the inbox. You're going to have uh, the AC uh, evaporator. Now, the evaporator can be going uh, full go, all the way blowing cold, and the heater core will always overpower the evaporator. That's why when you have fogged windows um, and you push defog, um, on some cars you'll see your little AC light turn on. That's because it's um, this is actually going to turn on because when you blow um, moist air over cold, the moisture will leave the air and that's where you get the water dripping from your evaporator. So a uh, fully working evaporator isn't going to be a problem. Um, so we're going to come into the little plastic air box here. And the next thing we have 
I have this little line right here. This is actually a door. A lot of times it's a cable control. And right now, the door is right there. And you can see the air would have to go that way because it can't pass the door. If your blend door is not working properly, you may be, you may not be getting um, hot heat. Uh, it could be lukewarm. You may not get any hot heat at all if it's uh, stuck blocking off the heater core. Well, um, that brings us to your coolant lines and also this heater control valve. Um, if the heater control valve is stuck in the closed position and everything else is working properly, um, hot coolant is not going to be getting through the uh, fins which is needed to produce the hot air on this side. So that could also be a fault. Um, and the last thing, but this is actually probably the most common thing, is a low coolant level. Um, and if you don't have a sufficient amount of coolant in your cooling system, then your um, cabin heating uh, system is not going to work properly because you're not going to have sufficient flow um, in your heater core. And then, oh, one more thing too. This is a little imaginary uh, black box. It's representing your thermostat. Um, a thermostat, a faulty thermostat, can also cause um, poor heat inside because if the coolant isn't getting heated up or reaching the heater core, uh, no heat in here equals no heat here. So those are just the general kind of um, components in the system that uh, will cause failure in the indoor heating area. So, um, now I'm going to show you a list. We're going to take a look over here. Alright, and I'm just about to wrap it up here. I'm just going to go over these real quick. Uh, just go over the problem and uh, give you some symptoms you may have here. Well, the most probable, most common problem you're going to have is your car will be leaking coolant somewhere. Leaking it or using it. Uh, both of those are never a good thing. Um, you could have a faulty radiator, a uh, heater core. Um, and if your coolant is leaking, what you're going to have is you'll have a regular airflow and no heat. So you'll be blowing cold, um, but uh, your airflow will be sufficient. Uh, thermostat. Um, you'll be overheating or not blowing hot air. If it's stuck open, uh, it may not heat up all the way and you could have cold air from that um, or lukewarm air if it's stuck closed uh, you're not going to get that far uh, your car will overheat and it'll probably fail somewhere else uh, so that's a more serious problem um, heater control valve if your heater control valve is stuck closed then you will have um, no heat because the coolant isn't going to flow through your heater core so you're not going to have any hot air blend door, um, if your blend door is not working, then you'll have sufficient airflow, but uh, it could be lukewarm, could be cold, um, could just not be hot enough for you. A uh, blower, and I should have put cabin filter here too, um, if your blower motor or cabin filter is clogged, both of these would be the cause of uh, low airflow, um, which really isn't a heating problem, but um, you'd be surprised how many people say, uh, my car isn't blowing hot air, and it's not blowing anything at all. Uh, people do it. People say it. Um, it happens. All right, and then the last is electrical. Uh, newer cars, a lot of things are electrical. Um, a lot of these problems could be electrical. Uh, for instance, the blend door. Uh, blend doors on newer cars um, are electronically controlled. Um, blower motor could be an electrical problem. Uh, there's just a uh, quite a few things that could point to an electrical problem so well that wraps it up for today and I would like to say um I know that I used some improper terminology and I'm sure I made many errors I would just like to say that these videos are not geared towards technicians technicians go to school technicians work at shops um, this is geared towards do-it-yourselfers who google things and YouTube things um, this is who these videos are for. So, um, that concludes my first episode of the ALE.
the automotive learning experience. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Uh, let me know in the comments what you thought. And it's always a great thing to click that green thumbs up, like it. Thanks again, guys.